Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Twinsibles and today I'm in the mood of doing a haul video so here it is. So this haul is a mini haul that I uh, like a mini uh, purchase uh, spree that I had uh, done in the month of September. Uh, I think not, like, not even September like few things that I bought and uh, I just thought of showing it to you people. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing uh, that I got uh, like first I went for was Ikea so Ikea it's like we have monthly visit to Ikea and we just love it like even if we don't want to buy anything we just go there to stroll around look what's new has come in and we always end up buying something or the other so this time uh, we got very few things but like very essential things so the first thing that I got was this bottle we have a bottle like this uh, but I've lost the cork um, so I went, went and I had got this one again for myself. So it looks good while it sits on my table. So I think this was it. After so much of planning and plotting this, I didn't find this, but of course I love it. I just love this. And this warm cap of water it adds that perfect look to it. So that's what I got from Ikea. Another thing that I got from Ikea is a little silly, but it's a little essential as well. Pair of scissors. So my own scissors. Uh, and I came across this pair and I just got them the color. I think the color that was the most appealing for me. So I don't think I don't know this pair. So it actually comes in a set of two. So let's see if I can see it. Then I went ahead and bought glasses. So I went for these glasses. Like, there was this another color in turquoise. But I think I'm out of stock. So I got these glasses. Offer where you we got it like four for twenty dirham. So yeah, that's pretty cheap. So we went and bought these four glasses and then we were super happy with very sturdy and very good material. So for that kind of price, I'm just saying that's a nice idea. Like I said, no matter what the cost is, but it will always be sure. Then, uh, the next thing that I got from Ikea was this USB lamp. So it's quite good. So it's basically a USB thing. You can just plug it in your laptop. And once, even if you're like walking in a dark room, you just need to plug this in and you can walk. You can actually see your keyboard in your laptop. It has a good amount of light in it. And uh, it just works very good and like you know very useful so i recommend everyone to buy this one it's sturdy again it can be dismantled with these legs it comes out and it's metal legs not plastic this one is well is well a little um, like you know it has metal finish it's very good quality sturdy for the given price so that's that then uh, the final thing that i got tidbits that i got from ikea were these decorative artificial uh, plants i just forgot the name what do you call them succulents yeah succulents so i just wanted to uh, you know jazz my working table a bit it's white in color so this of course suited its hardware and i thought it was a great idea to you know add that little amount of what do you call it, uh, jazz on the table so i bought these and, and also i have kept one bath body box and this handle on the table is just Moving to makeup, only one product that I got is this one. So this is basically a really important if you wanted to buy this product. Tan to actually not even have a concealer, it's tan to a concealer because we don't bronze it to be And this is in the shade tan. I can definitely come up with a review of this if case you in case you people would want to 
uh, so that's how the product looks like um i'm not sure about the quantity because actually i hadn't seen it in person so i booked it online and i was expecting a little more uh, product in this but i was a little uh, you know like oh well, this much like it, it's quite thin the bottle is quite thin like so much of product for the given price but then i'm fine with it as long as it's huda beauty i'm totally fine the price is justified so yeah that's that so now that i'm done with this makeup i do have a little bit of makeup and uh, that would be like a surprise because it's from Shein. Their newly launched uh, makeup uh, line of Shein. So, like that's the most interesting buy of the month. I would say that's the star purchase and the most interesting buy. So I have got like if you people can guess what are these? Oops. Sorry for this. Sorry for the drop. So these these are basically colored liners. So yeah, I would be definitely, definitely, definitely coming up with a separate review video of uh, these because they deserve one. Uh, and but I'll quickly like you know give you a gist and show you what colors I got. So this these are basically uh, eyeliners, colored eyeliners. I have been seeing them throughout the Instagram and I just wanted to try on the cheapest version of colored eyeliners uh, because others I know I'm not gonna use it that much. So, I would invest in good uh, like you know pricey ones but like probably later but for now I wanted cheaper versions and she and it is so every each liner is priced at 10 dirhams so yeah let's move on quickly to the colors as well so these colors uh, okay they are named with these numbers and what all colors I've got so I've got interesting colors like in fact I've picked up all the colors possible on the website so the first one is this green what in these eyeliners are these yeah so that's purple and that's pink i'm not sure how do i handle that with those bottles white then blue all the possible colors that i could find that's white orange pink green and yellow that looks gross so i actually have actually worn though two of the way these i have tried on white and orange you can see the pictures on my instagram uh, the, our handle is principles but i'll leave up to these reviews of these eyeliners for the next video so coming back another purchase from shein so i tried exploring their another line of shein premium i have actually mixed feelings about that line um, i'll tell you why so yeah so the first thing that i got from shein premium has to be jewelry so these are the two things uh, two chains set that i got from that tree shein premium and um, i must say i'm just amazed by the quality it's super amazing i have chains uh, from the non-premium uh, you know part of shein as well but this is definitely heavy duty it's heavy as well it it actually seems like good quality and if you can see it's like you know rustic a gold color and it looks amazing man also if i can probably put it on for you people so that you can know Oops. Okay. okay so that's how it would look on and i'm totally glad that i purchased it it's super amazing the chain is super amazing with super quality as well so i think a thumbs up to shein premium for this coming to the next product that i got from shein premium is this bag so i just love this bag when i saw it on picture and considering it's shein premium and i had that notion that it might be better comparison to what other uh, things like you know products are listed otherwise in on shein I love, I love to be honest i love everything about this bag if you see the handle and the chain and uh, like the flap the combination everything the shape of the bag and everything is good but i would say why is it even listed in sheen premium so first thing that i was a little disappointed on was it had this patch that people can see if that's visible but it had this patch on it for some reason i didn't return it because i like I, I i don't want to go through that hassle of returning and stuff but i wasn't happy with this patch secondly i thought there was a little bit of you know this creases on the handle which 
if you give in an expensive bag not expensive of course it was priced uh, in a mediocre range only but these you know these crinkles it doesn't seem premium that's what my point is like i would still buy it in fact i would find better quality in the non premium uh, range of products of shein but i i don't think there's anything premium about this product for sure given the color and combination everything is good but because every product on shein is like you know like very attractive and stuff but i don't think there's anything premium in this bag to be very honest so that's that that's the reason i told you that i have mixed feelings about shein premium and the other thing that confirmed my you know my opinion of she in premium being a little dicey are these slippers so again they are from she in premium and the people know it's like you know these square toes have been so much in trend so much in trend and i've been looking to find that perfect uh you know pair but i am not sadly able to get that so i thought why not uh just try she in for that matter because she in is like every really thing one is on she in and if it's she in premium has to be much better so that's where i got this chapter from um, again it been from uh, she in premium i had much expectations for the all and it's fine with the shape and all but i think with the food size it becomes perfect it just looks very really i would say not very really polished kind of thing and if you see the soul so if you See one thing that I'm looking at this footwear is how is the sole attached? Now, if you see here, it's like it just seems like it has been glued on. If you can see, it's just been glued on, and so abruptly there is no sharpness and no, you know, it doesn't look polished at all. It's just looking like some flimsy polish chappals or sandal for the top. That's what we call it. Not quite uh, expected from Shein for me. That's the thing. Plus the logo as well. Like, seems like you know, even the logo it's not imprinted. It has this stick-on thingy. I wouldn't want to remove it to spoil the look. But mm, not quite happy with the quality. So I don't know. I just have simple, you know, like mixed feelings about Shein Premium. Though I'm not sure about the clothing, the clothing looks super good on the screen on the application of Shein. So I'm definitely sure the quality is much better than what's being listed under normal Shein. But for other products like bags and uh, footwear, not happy. Anyway, moving forward, uh, the things, other accessory that I got from Shein and not Shein Premium are these set of earrings, and I love them. I'm not sure about the quality again, but I'm definitely happy with the look. and the feel of the accessory so the first one is these earrings safety pins as you know these has been also quite in trend and if you want me to see them wearing please head on to my instagram channel i have already done a photo shoot with these on and they look super amazing i love them so this is how the pair looks like and this is how it would look like on but really guys you have to head off to my instagram channel to see me in these and i love them the quality though is a little uh, Or something, but that's totally fine for the amount that we pay on Shein. That's totally justified. And the other earring that I have seen many bloggers wearing, and I was just loving it, love with it. Are these ones again? A safety pin trend. Are these ones? They are very dainty. That's why they are right, and they look pretty amazing. And they're super amazing. So basically, they have all the rhinestones all over it. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to find it for my own camera purposes. It's quite light to wear as well. It won't hurt your ear, and they look pretty. I'm just loving it. Yeah. So that was it. That was all about my mini uh, uh, interesting day that I have done, and I'm definitely coming to do a review of those eyeliners. Do keep me updated. Watching.